Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going through the local range that we got on the Bitcoin chart and how one could expect this to break going forwards, be it to the upside or to the downside. As we know more locally, uh, we're in like a you know a few hundred dollar range here with the higher the range coming in around eleven thousand five hundred dollars and the lower the range coming in at around eleven thousand two hundred and fifty it's really clear on like a 15 minute chart where you kind of view it like this this is the vow of the whole range by the way but you can see how this has acted as support once twice you could argue that eleven thousand three hundred is a more local support where you see touches 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 obviously move through reclaim move to eleven thousand seven hundred a touch a touch a touch and you could potentially be aiming down for this next touch again so we can say supports around 11 250 11 300 bigger 11 250 at the moment and the resistance for me is 11 500 where you can almost see where you've kind of got this high of the range obviously we know there was the deviation to 11 700 but ultimately we have got the touches 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 of the resistance at the high that move yesterday topping out around 11,550 a nice little short squeeze uh before you obviously got the move back down so that's what you got really locally um you got that local range to be trading obviously if you break the low of the range and by breaking the low of the range we want to see you know volume generally increasing you want to see the open interest increasing and obviously closes through the level so not just a swing failure pattern um so you want to see those closes through the level and if you do that then you start to look down towards your lower levels of support such as eleven thousand eleven thousand one hundred dollars um so that eleven two fifty locally daily is an important support where obviously the question on many people's mind is it is eleven thousand seven hundred the top um <clears throat> obviously I think there's a strong case for it to be the top as we speak right now you're seeing today weakness I I was up early this morning for London Open uh so I have been trading the UK stock market today and it's very it's very red since the open you now you're currently down 2.7 percent you went you went down instantly about two percent and now you're down another you know 0.4 percent during during the last two hours so that's uh yeah red day on the uk market you've seen a red day on the es red day on gold yeah uh there, there's another coin that's dropping down i've got alerts for some of these alts but um you know <laughs> it's a red day in the market today i think that's undeniable you also see link you know the coin that we've been trading off of this channel also getting rejected from that channel still so you're seeing weakness across all you know in, in within side cryptocurrency link ethereum you're seeing it on gold you're seeing it on the uk market you're seeing the es um everything's looking red that, let's be honest so you have to say to yourself is is this potentially the high here eleven thousand seven hundred? i mean we had the confluence for the short trade um you know we had four different confluences there you can check my video from the other day um that i put put on youtube so eleven thousand seven hundred is a big 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 level um so how could we say that actually we are going higher where where this does still go high you know higher prices obviously the, i think the the real key is is the local range that i gave you to start this video if you start to break once again eleven five hundred you got to let those key levels eleven thousand five hundred then you got 11,600 and then obviously you got your monthly level so one could say it's not the most probable locally here that we go to the high because we haven't hit that lower the range yet once again but if we can hit the lower the range and get a bounce off of it then there's no reason why you cannot get those higher levels i i, I think my my per, again I, can, I can't give <laughs> like financial advice in this video this video is no financial advice but in terms of um an educational type ed entertainment East, so to speak for legal reasons i would say that you do not want to be really bullish up at these highs just as you don't want to be really bearish up at these highs necessarily you do want to see you know at the end of the day let's say eleven thousand seven hundred is the high if this is the high and we're going much lower and we got we got a, a gartley pattern then you don't need it doesn't really matter so much whether you short here or you short the loss of the range in my opinion um you know if you're after the big term swing trade it shouldn't matter to you so much whether you get the exact high because i think you know i've said this before let, let's say you got a move of let's say a hundred percent move you don't need to capture the top 20 percent shorting the top 20 percent. you don't need to capture the bottom 20 percent along the bottom 20 percent. if you can capture the middle 60 percent, you make more than enough money in trading so what i'm trying to get to here is yeah 
that was obviously a brilliant short for the people that caught it but if you are bearish and you don't want to be short in the lower the range then you could say okay i want to see that step of confirmation of losing the range i want to see the volume i want to see the open interest you know i want that extra extra bit given to me to give me a little bit more confidence in the short position let's say um and again this is really personal you might feel confident to short here that's totally your decision and also the next step you might be saying is well you might be in the position actually i'm really bullish i am expecting higher prices or you might then say oh i want to at least claim the top of the range or alternatively a support touch off, off the bottom of the range both of those are acceptable longs well, I think you've got 10,500, 10,600, 10,720. Obviously, the level above you then is moving up to that 11,925. You, you clear that. It's, it looks very bullish. But one would say from looking at the market today, and we do have to remember that this can change like that, you know, snap of the fingers and the market can, can switch around. But as it stands right now, I think it's fairly safe to say the market's very red today. EOS is pulling back. That was up about 1% earlier. You're now down to 0 0.2. You're seeing the DXY up 0.37% today. And we know there's an inverse correlation between Bitcoin and the DXY dollar index. So I think just taking it sensibly and thinking, what do we have here? What are my reasonings to long? I would personally say I don't have a lot of reasons to long as it stands on a local day trade. So this video is 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 for day traders primarily the, today's video this is not talking about swing trading this is not talking about long-term time frames this is talking about what i've got today and how i'm trading today i don't have a good reason as it stands to long you know so that's kind of what i would say for a day traders viewpoint here i either want to see another drop and i want to then see some reasons to give me along i want to see a bounce off the bottom of the range and if that doesn't happen well i'm not going to long it obviously uh and alternatively um you know we, we just keep falling down or the other the other alternative is you do not get the drop let's say that somehow bitcoin holds up here at 11338 at 10 past 10 a.m in uk time you can check this out chart yourself that if we actually manage to reclaim some of these resistances as support well yeah that's going to be a surprise in the market i would have thought that the, that's going to surprise the majority of the market that does you know that can happen uh but it's going to require a bit of strength to actually reclaim these resistances and make its way back up just because of the way the overall market is and i think if you do not look at the overall strength of some of these other markets you you're sometimes trading a bit blind um you know i i place great emphasis on the other markets the way that i get my daily biases I, I i like to look how the other markets are going because it's it's a great heads up um so yeah i just think that you got a bit of weakness in the markets today overall i well i just i, I don't just think this i can see <laughs> there's there's weakness in the markets overall today um does this mean bitcoin has to go down obviously no uh but what we can say is that it's more probable that it goes down from here where uh, where can we say it's not as probable anymore that it goes down or if it starts to reclaim those resistances as support if it starts to flip those fibonacci levels okay <clears throat> so that, that, that's kind of how I, I would approach this into a day trading perspective at the moment i think from the swing trades uh, we got like higher term time frame setups and higher term time frame levels but when it comes to the local range and where one could be getting their confidence from the trades today uh, I think you got a local range as given at the start of the video, 11,500, 11,250. You break the higher that range, you got to look for higher. You break the lower that range, you're looking for lower. But as it stands today, you got a range to trade. So let's trade the range. And obviously, you're almost in the middle of that at the moment. So if you didn't catch the short off of the high of it, then I, I would say you got to be in no position. And let's remind ourselves, sorry, one second. Let's remind ourselves that no trade is a trade. So don't feel bad about being in no trade at the moment, because I would say arguably that, that, that if you're literally coming to the market right now at 10 a.m. and you're seeing this, well, then you're almost in the middle, even of the last low to the last high. So let's let's wait a little bit. No trade is a trade. Let's wait for the move to the low where you can look potentially for the longs. Let's move back up to the high where you can potentially look for the shorts. Or if you clear the high and you reclaim that as support, you then look for your next level, which would be 10.500. If you lose the lowest range, you'd be looking for your next level, which is 11,250. So there's always a trade, and sometimes that trade is no trade. You've got to wait for the you know higher probabilities. Because if you just take a trade like right now, I would say, like, what, 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 why are you trading at this at that level? You want to wait for a bit more higher probabilities. And that, that's the way that I kind of preach. That's the way that I kind of trade. You, you want to wait for the highest probability trades. Otherwise, you might as well just go to the casino, <laughs> to be honest. Like, you might as well, why, why waste your time? Um, so yeah, that, that's today's update that I have for you. Um, hope you've, you've, you've enjoyed this one. Um, if you have, then as always, appreciate a like down below. 
and if you haven't then you can give the video a dislike it's absolutely fine um but yeah there's a fairly not so much for me to say in the video honestly because the the update it's hard to give an update because we've literally just been going sideways so there's really not so much to say but nevertheless i hope that i've helped some some people give a little bit of perspective and the, the local range that myself anyway I'm, I'm trading uh so yeah thank you everybody and there we go we literally just hit the bottom of this range this is on the one minute chart one minute chart we just hit the low there and we're getting the bounce back again right off the value area low that's why you don't trade the middle of the range obviously we back tested that fibonacci resistance from the back test of the fibonacci resistance we have just hit the value area low that for me is a take profit uh so great start to the day to be honest with you and um you know what i was hopefully saying is you know just evidence here that you you trade the charts and again can this go lower absolutely this can go lower this can go lower you can break the low of the range but for myself day trading this um you know this is a good start to the day <laughs> let's just put it like that uh if we break the low of the range then i i can well compound compound uh the short position but as we as we stand that's a really nice reaction off the value area low as one would expect um yeah and i just hope that you have enjoyed this video i've given you some insights of why i wouldn't have traded the middle of the range why you need to wait for the lows um obviously this is a fibonacci channel <clears throat> that's a fibonacci channel right there but look at this reaction absolutely beautiful this is why you take profits everybody and uh, that's why you that's why you know the levels where you're going to get a reaction that is absolutely beautiful it absolutely is <laughs> literally this is the one minute chart one minute chart we hit the exact level i was waiting for that vow and uh, look at the reaction off of it 50 dollars instantly that, that, that's, that's nice uh, i'm gonna go back and trade this i just wanted to add this on really quickly um yeah i need to go back and trade this again so cheers everybody uh have a absolutely brilliant brilliant day ahead and i mean look at it there is three million down at those lows um yeah cheers everybody thank you and have a good one bye